from number 36. Future meeting, we've all got the meeting schedule, 2011. Um, but our next meeting here this year, of course, is one in December. And there is a typo in the agenda. It's the next meeting is December uh, 3 and 4. Um, and what happened was the meeting for 2011 is December 2 and 3, so. Okay, so our next commission meeting is scheduled for Friday, December 3rd, Saturday, December 4th in Reno, followed by Las Vegas. And now we talked before about a one between the states, Utah. Have we had any progress on that? We are making the, the glacier is melting. Um, I got a call or an e two emails from Jim Karpowitz, director of, um, of Utah. Um, my recommendation was that we would do it in March and Wendover because March is a cab workshop. Um, their, their problem is that they can't have an official meeting um, with another board. I told them that w what we've done before is we'd have one day of our official business that we have to get done, and the other day would be to meet with their board to talk about joint issues. And for some reason, their DAG had problems with their open meeting law with that. I don't know Utah law. They were, he hasn't gotten back to me on that issue. Um, he did get back to me here on September 23rd and said that their March meeting is the 15th, 16th, uh, not the 11th and 12th, and they couldn't change that, and they're doing big game regulations in March 15, 16. So he was going to try to, um, well, he's going to talk with his chairman and try to push something for May. Um, but if you look at our agenda for May, we have big game status report and quota setting. So uh, that's a kind of a marathon meeting as well. So. We're just, keep, we're just pushing the ball around, trying to figure out what might work. Um, uh, they could not come to Nevada um, because of out-of-state travel restrictions. Um, they, they also threw out a notion that maybe we should all go to Wafwa. Uh, I told them that I didn't think we had enough money for um, the, the board to go to Wafwa. Maybe if it was held in Reno next year. Maybe it was held in Reno, we might be able to all make it. Yeah, uh, and we could. So our Wendover, they said they could come to Wendover. So um, I, I'll report back more. Jim, they're having a meeting, so um, I, I will get more information from I, uh, Director Karpowitz. Go ahead, Mr. Lint. Mr. Chairman, uh, I happen to know the uh, general manager for the three hotels in Wendover, so if we need to make some special accommodations, get a hold of me and I'll see what we can do if we need a table down the middle of the state line there, but there's three hotels run by the pepper mill there, I do believe, and uh, he runs all of those. And if we need some special arrangements, maybe let me know. I th the problem is the business that both commissions have to do, trying to find a meeting date that would allow the, this commission to get their work done and their commission. So uh, and they have some open meeting law issues that are different than ours, but we'll, uh, We'll keep trying. Very good, and I've been sp I have uh, spoken with the vice chair here recently of Utah about this, and Rick Woodward, their chairman, is supposed to be giving me a call here shortly. Just we're talking about agenda items. Okay. Uh, review of potential agenda items for that for the next meeting. Let's see, we had a couple things that came up earlier here in the meeting. I want to just kind of go over those, make sure. Let's see, we had, what, what do we want? Anybody remember? Water in the state of Nevada. State of Nevada. I didn't. Here declaring horses and burros in the same category as wildlife and giving them the same water rights. Okay. We can, um, okay, water rights. Trail cameras. Trail cameras. Do we want to? To bring up trail cameras as a committee item or the policy committee, or should we throw it on the commission agenda? Just throwing this out? Well, I don't know. 
it's already been discussed before. But, but we don't have any language. And how do we, what format? Did the other items okay. Very good. Mr. Chairman, how, how broad a scope do you want to go into those trail cameras? Well, the reason <coughs> okay, what do we got? Yeah. The reason it came up was because of an article that was in American Hunter magazine, I think it was, uh, relative to the issue in uh, Montana. And I'd l at least like to see a discussion on it. They don't, uh, they've kind of worked some bugs out of theirs. The whole, their, their deal is don't use trail cameras during a scheduled hunt. You know, you can use it for scouting and up to the, the point of hunt, hunting, but you don't utilize them during the hunting season. The reason I bring Mr. this Bogler? up. Mr. Yeah. Excuse me, Chairman Rain. The reason I bring this up with Mr. Capurro's point is, is that we're looking very hard in the agriculture community to come up with a solution for these landowner tags. And if we can find some way to find a camera that will give us GPS and the ability to take a picture and a date and a time so you can't just continually use the data. What's happening more and more all the time is that the person who comes out and counts the wildlife that may be using your alfalfa field or your private land, is he, has, he, he cannot physically be in all the places he needs to be at the same time. My neighbor was scheduled to have his field counted on the first day of antelope season. And of course, oh. at daylight that morning when they showed up, there wasn't anything in his field. So if there was, this is one of the things about a trail camera, that if you could have it in a GPS location or something and, and take some pictures, maybe it would be acceptable to the Nevada Department of Wildlife as a way to count the, the deer use, because it's based on noses in those fields. And, and I just, so I want to be very careful with it. An item that might be methods, acceptable methods for counting deer? For, the, for, for landowner tags. For landowner. Okay, Tr trying to get that down. Do we want to have the Ethics Commission lady come talk? Um, what would she talk on? On ethics, a report. Uh, basically, what would we be looking at? A 15, 20, three-hour report. Probably, probably close to an hour. Okay. We've got, and the application costs that we're charging. Um, Desert and Rocky Mountain. Mixing, how to notice hunters, came up earlier. I'm die off. And we had Sheldon predation management. Um, that was brought up as a possible subject. If we went, um, what are options are available for the Sheldon? Okay. Yes. We're throwing out ideas here for the agenda. What would everybody like to see? You, will you be automatically tracking the uh, uh, wolf issue with regards to petitioning the Fish and Wildlife Service? Will that be an automatic? Okay, wolf, I, I believe so, but... I'll make it a special note, but let's see why not. Okay. Anything else? Seeing nothing else, anybody has anything, get with me, we'll go over it. Um, I had, and I will email a copy of this to Suzanne as soon as I get back. I don't have a uh, presentable copy of committee lists, but, but just read over it. And the other one will actually have two more people that are currently listed on here. Let's go with the Legislative Committee, which will be, as it currently exists, of Capurro, Lent, Howell. The Mule Deer Committee will be no change. Wildlife Heritage Committee, Lent, Shrum, Lent, Chair, 
Mr. Shrum, Mr. Howell. Let's go with the Wildlife Damage Management Committee. We'll have two additional members besides these two, but we'll have for the chair, we'll have Mr. Vogler, Mr. then we'll have Mr. Capurro, and Mr. Howell. Wildlife Scholarship Recipient Selection Committee, Cavan Chair, Macbeth and Shrum, State Predatory Animal and Rodent, Mr. Wallace, Duck Stamp, Capurro Chair, Cavan and Wallace, Elk Damage Incentive Committee, Mr. Vogler Chair, Wallace and Cavan. Let's see, Finance Committee as it currently exists, we made that change already. Wildlife, oh, I missed one. Wayne e. Kirch, Mr. Howell Chair, Shrum and Lent, Policy Procedure Regulation Committee, Mr. Lent Chair, Mr. Vogler, Mr. Howell, and I'll email this out to you, Suzanne, just as soon as I get home. Thank, thank you. With seeing that, we, it, it, we are Ah, for the agenda, the proposed bear, yeah. I'll make a note of that, but yeah. And I'm sure there'll be several other things. I know we've anticipating petitions and... We didn't make any list, too. Okay, very good. I'll make a motion we adjourn. Second. And probably move and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye.